They totally thought we were stealing. <laughs> Are you saying help? <laughs> oh god. Use protection. Hello people of the internet, my name is Tatiana and I've been living in Vienna for a little over two years now. Both me and my partner moved here for work, I was still doing an internship at the time and we sort of weren't planning on staying here for too long, max a year because that's usually for how long you need to sign the lease here. And then we didn't end up moving, we sort of fell in love with the city, we enjoy living here, it's really nice. When we moved here we didn't have much money so the whole flood was furnished very much on the budget but we also wanted to have it done fast so it was all rushed and in the end the pieces didn't fall together so much and you know if we were staying here only for the year as we originally planned this wouldn't really be a huge deal but after a while it didn't feel quite homey and we kept adding things uh, but something still didn't feel quite right and since we are not moving anytime soon we thought we might as well put a little more effort into it now I mean it's high time to do this so we're moving things around trying to figure out how we can make it more cozy but still functional because we both work from home a lot so we need to fit a lot of things into a small space um, I feel like the workstations have always been a little bit limiting when it came to furnishing the flat. Leave comments below letting me know if, if you have any ideas on how we could better use this space. Um, but I think what we have done, what you will see in this episode of my Vienna Diaries, um, is probably the best solution we were able to come up and meet all of our needs and find the sort of level of comfort and hominess that we've been missing. I'm actually already sitting in the final version of our living room. I'm in love with this little lamp magic ball kind of situation in the background. Ikea really knows how to do some things well and these color changing lights are the best thing to set the mood and make places feel more comfortable. So please enjoy this episode of Vienna Diary. There was a need for change in this flat. We redid the workstation. We moved the work desk so that uh, it's not really facing the whole entire room, just a little bit. And we're also turning around the couch so that it kind of separates the room. I think it's gonna look very nice. And originally we just turned the couch around so that the longer side was here and the shorter on the wall but that didn't really work so now we had to switch this um i don't know Reclamier. it's a french word i don't know uh, so we had to switch it around and obviously you have to disassemble the whole couch to do that and then put it again together but you know we I guess we have nothing better to do. So that. And it's also cheaper than buying a new couch. So your butt is covering the camera. So what? And we put a pillow here like this. Cause just put this now between there and Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't know. It, this is too short. Yeah, no, it's six. Let's go. Oh god. This is the more cozy version that we ended up going with. Um, ideally, there in the corner, we'd have an armchair or something. Perhaps the carpet here would be bigger, making it like a whole separate space. And maybe then we'd have a bigger, what's it called? A couch table. But for now, I suppose this is good. The only reason we were turning it around was that the TV is actually on this side. So when we are watching, the lounging is not that comfortable, but this way if the people come over, it feels a lot more personal and easier to chit chat. We can add a chair back there if needed, so more people can chill. And there's still plenty of space for the workspace. What else? Oh yeah, and the space is separated much better now because this part is longer. Ideally, we'd have a couch that goes all the way to the corner back there. Um, 
but the one that I wanted was kind of expensive and it's also not available right now. So for now, this is the solution we are going with. Please ignore my hair, I'm currently getting ready. We need to go to Obi to buy some pots and some things for the soil mixture because this plant right here is not doing so great in the pot. As you can see, it's like three different pieces and we are thinking about putting each one of them into a different pot so that we will have jungle in more places and also maybe, hopefully, it will do better and we'll have more space while sitting here because every time my boyfriend sits here and moves back he hits it and I don't think the leaf is very happy with it and the same goes for whenever somebody sits on the couch right here um, it's just like right there where you would have your head and people either sit like right underneath it or hit it and the leaves are just not going doing great it might be something else but I do think it's because it needs repotting so we are gonna go to Obi to buy everything that we need um, it's always a journey because we already have like the outside pots but we just need the inner ones because um, it's best for the plants if they have a proper drainage and I can never get these inside pots properly fitted in there like there is always a little gap or it just doesn't work so we are gonna take the pots with us and see if we can match it there properly let's hope they won't think that we are stealing these pots or something I feel like it's so stupid taking them with us if you live in a city with a good public transport and no car, you know, the struggle of having to go everywhere with like a backpack and Ikea bags just to buy the smallest piece, piece of, it's not small, I can't speak today. Yeah, the bigger pieces that you need. Oh my God, I look like I'm in a pajama. You too. No. <laughs> I feel like that doesn't exist, like that for an actual exists. drill. 100% my daddy. Okay, then we ask. Yeah, but upstairs, I think. Okay. Cool. You look very professional. I am immediately you are the perfect match Embarrassing. coming to places like this is super dangerous because I kind of want to buy this plant even though it's not doing well and I truly believe that I could save it but also we don't have more space for plants so I gotta have a lot of self-control now please why is this so overwhelming but it clearly exists that you can attach it to a drill I didn't believe it so that's nice you don't have to do it by hand this time. Well, there are below right here. Yeah, but those are not attachable. I checked them in the back and they are not. They don't have a wall pro. Okay, we managed to get everything. We're overheating, so it's time to go. How do you rate this trip? <laughs> they totally thought we were stealing the pots as expected. But it turned out well because we left the IKEA stickers on them, so... If you ever want to do the same, make sure to not remove the stickers if you don't want to be a criminal. And we also got some pretty lavender. Somehow this walk to the metro station is always absolutely horrible. Like right now it's not even that hot, like it's hot but not that bad. And it feels like walking on a desert. On a dessert. On a dessert. <laughs> How do you say it? A dessert. A dessert. <laughs> Wondering if I'm too dark. Maybe I just squat for the effect. Uh, we need to repot our giant plant that is plopping in the wind in the back there. And I'm putting on gloves because my nails are kind of long and I don't feel like cleaning them afterwards. Normally I would just raw dog it, but not this time. Use protection. <laughs> Use protection. <laughs> Let's go. 
I feel like this area looks a little bit sad now with the tiny little piece of <laughs> plant left. Hopefully it will grow bigger. Just as I predicted, this little tool isn't as effective as we hoped it would be and I feel like it's taking off maybe a bit too much of the paint. I don't know if this was necessary. I'm glad I'm not doing this because it seems like a health hazard. I think should be wearing a mask but um, you know. You can make a man <laughs> do something smartly once he has put his mind to it. So now he's suffering and I'm gonna have to deal with the complaints later. It's been almost an hour now and it's going so bad. I genuinely feel sorry for him. <laughs> the sending has been happening for two hours now. As I predicted, it's quite a mess. We also don't have any foil to put underneath when we are painting it. So right now I'm cutting apart trash bags and tipping them together, very eco-friendly, definitely not the best idea, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if what I have is already big enough for underneath one bench, but I would hope so. No! Yes! Two twisty and that's it. No! One, two. <laughs> no, it's yes. too twisted. No! Trust me, look at any other two, two times two. here. You also only screw twice. Yeah. See, you're not supposed to push it all the way down. It's twisted twice. Ugh, you make fun of me and I'm right. You're not right, babe! I am right! Big one time only But there twisty, is no twisty, twisty or what? There is no twisty sign here. It's right next to the twisty sign. And here you then uh, you have to do six ones. Yeah! You can't even do six with them because they are so short, babe. Please! It's really rough. This one was also kind of crusty when we got it. Aww. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like it's very trippy. I guess I don't like it as much as I thought I would. Yeah? Ugh. No. Let's fold it up again. One side. You put it on the side thingy. Yeah, I think that works. I mean, we add some lamp. In the end, we also ended up pushing the whole living room essentially a little more to the open room, to the kitchen. 
and uh, we turned around the work table so that kind of is now lying in the kitchen and it's sort of connected to the dining table the whole place feels a lot more cozy now unfortunately our travel map is now covered a little bit we are still working on that but overall this seems like the best solution we have come up with so far so this is what the living room looks like right now i'm quite happy with it i'm really happy about the couch area because now even when people come over we don't have to sit at the dining table it feels more like a conversation pit rather than just a couch facing a tv so i'm super excited about this i actually had so much fun making this video and editing it i really enjoy making vlogs and I think it's a wonderful way of documenting your 20s and these little things that you do in a daily life. And who knows, maybe you also enjoy seeing this part of a stranger's life. That is it for today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!